lost too much, so we're not gonna besiege that anymore. Let's go this way. And get a couple of recruits. If we want to keep these guys, and Makato Greenleaf is going to be a leader of a party. Actually, I could just grab a bunch of uh, Umbar consuls and give uh, give an army of them to him. Something like that. That's going to work out well for them. Donate these if possible, and it is nice. Everyone better recruits for the companion, not the shittiest of the shit. Let's go find some. No one of these villages has elites in it, like just elites. I don't remember which one though. The Empire is going to peace out soon enough. You're besieging Cornea Castle. Eh, I want to test out the Katana so bad. Let's go that way. I'm going to see the stream soon enough as well. It's almost midnight. Hopefully we can actually get the siege going. Could be an army coming our way at least. They took that back. They're holding most of their territory except this here. Pretty small army. Now there's only 200 defenders in there. We should be fine. Never. Why do you think we can take that down? They have the exact same amount of troops as we do. I should I should have let them besiege that and actually start a fight then join joined in on them. That's what I should have done. God damn it. Any other armies around? Really? Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have like watch a couple of tutorials on how to get the changing culture mod to work with the with this mod. Otherwise, this is gonna be pain in the ass. Okay, here we go. Your ship. Tactics and leadership. Yes, you. Greenleaf. Ah, shit. <laughs> um.
Let's give him a few of, of everything. We can actually change his name. Um, uh, not that I have any names to give him or made up. Now let's not fuck with that. Let's give him a horse, though. That's definitely a must. Without a saddle, but still. New assignment for you. Let's tell him to follow me. Apparently he has, doesn't have any food either. Uh, give him some. Shoot a couple more like elites and then give them to him. How many can he hold? I mean, four, yeah. There we go. And we got peace with the Empire. Just in time. We made our first party. Gonna help us out a little. Uh, yeah, this this one has the Umbar Raiders as default, so you can recruit them. Because it's eh, we didn't get that much. We're not actually over our troop limit, so let's not give anything to him yet. Grab these for myself and let's tell him what to do. I have a new assignment. Roam the land, do nothing. And that's it. You do whatever you want. Okay, that is determined. And what do we get for it? Oh, that ain't that ain't fucking worth it. Okay. So that's gonna be it for now. Hopefully, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and make the changing culture mod to work because we're gonna need that. All of this stuff is probably gonna rebel if we don't. Plus, so we can actually get, you know, recruit someone else, not just back here, because this is gonna be a problem if we expand further into the empire. Well, we expand anywhere to be honest, because we start out in in the real real corner here. Okay. Time to continue this. Now I did try installing the ch culture change mod, but I can't figure out how to like make it so that the culture changes to the samurai one, the Sujin one. So unfortunately, we're gonna have to deal. Hmm, I have an idea how I'm gonna like create a backup army might work it might not i'm actually thinking of uh, having a couple of a party or two that just goes around recruiting troops for me like the companion party that could be an idea and we did just piece him out let's see can we go to war with anyone else Apparently we can immediately go back to war with the Northern Empire. Well, let's not do that. It can go to war with the Ezerai. Funnily enough, these are on the map, but they're, you know, they don't exist. Hmm. 
Hmm. Is my party full? Yes, it is. Yeah, let's go to war with the Azeroi. Let me just rename him. What was his name? I have no fucking clue. Let's say name him Kenshi because I can't think of anything else. See, I think he can hold more troops than we can. Well, almost more troops than we can. Now. Oh, that's the easiest place to raid ever. See, how big is this army? 440. Hmm. It'll be a good idea to take these out first, then move through, move through the south. Actually, I have enough influence to lead an army. Have that many troops still. Let's see what uh, enemy parties we can pick off first. These guys are already going to besiege something. Could join them. Now the problem is going to be actually catching up to their armies as well, since they're so freaking fast in the field. Go help this guy out. Yes, yeah, you will see how well we're doing these. Then again, we have uh, we should have the same amount of skirmish archers as they do. take out their skirmish cab because no none of our infantry has shields right they should have turned off the shields on the black shields on the black block actually that's what i'm gonna do we're gonna finish this battle and we're gonna turn off that mod because that it ain't helping us at all don't do it Yeah, otherwise we won't be able to hit these because the shields actually block melee attacks as well. Hmm. Let's move up the infantry. You'd think these guys would do a little bit better because they Yari has 540 reach or whatever. Let's move up so we have a shot at their archers. Infantry.
Actually, I could just shoot them, right? <laughs> Maybe not. Almost got to our archers. There we go. Only their calves left. Chasing these down this is gonna take a while for each battle. There we go. Only one loss on my side. Nice. The any Tessigen troops? Yes, actually. So these have an Aginata. Hmm. I think having a Yari would be better for them. Let me see what what's the higher tier. Okay. Pick up one of these actually. And we don't have any yeah, we don't have any more uh, companions for parties. Uh this is gonna be a series, as every other playthrough. It it will take a while till I upload them though. The Roman campaign is gonna finish like on like early April. So then the Viking campaign is gonna go on, or the Wrath of the Northmen. Sturgia is Norse actually. Then after that, this is gonna be uploaded. So it will take a while till this gets on YouTube. But it will be up in time. Some like other mods that are not really finished, like uh, the old realms mod, maybe the Warcraft one as well, maybe even Game of Thrones. But I, like I said, I want to play Game of Thrones mods before I watch the series because you know, it's not gonna be as fun when I don't know shit about the series. But, and the gun mods, those might be like a one stream type thing. Although I will start those streams earlier and play them for a little longer because three hours is not enough to actually get shit. Well, get most of the stuff experienced in these mods. Twenty one levels up, nice. I'm still debating which ones of these are gonna be better. Big damage 118, weapon length 278. Actually, sticking with sticking with the guys with the katanas might be. Uh, 
think they would do better in melee than these guys because uh, when they're up, when they're close to each other, they can't actually swing their weapons. So that might be an issue. Maybe we need to turn the noble ones into melee troops, like these ones with cannibals. Although this series ain't gonna. I'm gonna play it for long. We're basically just gonna take over a little bit of the territory, then carve out a little bit of the empire as well until their until their the manpower like goes down around like 10k or something like that, which ain't gonna take long actually. I mean, their power was at 20k once they started the play 20, 22 or 24k once they started the playthrough. They're already pretty low. Let's see here. I want to go for leadership. Yeah, let's help these guys actually siege this. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I need to save and uh, d disable a mod. And real quick. We don't want the shields block things mod for this one. Because we don't have any. We can actually like kill enemies, even though they have a shield on their backs. And I need to see if I can figure out how to get the culture changing mod to work because that's gonna be crucial for like any mod we play. That actually like, adds a different culture into the game or a different. Uh, Race if it's old realms and all that. Because otherwise, like, if you conquer all, all Azerite territory, we're gonna have to, like, go back from there over here to actually recruit troops. Which is gonna be annoying as hell. What's the actual strength difference here? We are tougher, uh, we have more troops than them. I think we're gonna be able to do this siege. I'm gonna slow it down and go take a piss real quick. While it's going on.
CD, I didn't do anything stupid. Good. Except the fact we have no siege equipment. That's 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 perfect. Wonderful. Uh, guess let's command the archers. Not my choice anyway. Not really a good place to put him either. But like, get him into the line of fire for the enemies. Right, I do want to get off the horse so we get some athletics. Why do I have fire arrows in the fucking day? I was thinking of may, uh, going for the fire variant of this mod, but the uh, fire variant of this mod with the guns. But unfortunately, that's like makes all the all the factions have the same units. I was thinking it actually just uh, gives the testogen units guns. I mean, I could do that at some point, but uh, so I think it's a little bit more updated than the Calradic. Already awakens club mod of with the guns. Do they not have a shot on them like I do? Come on. this did we send a spy in to open the doors maybe we did <laughs> what <laughs> we just placed the archers here so we have a clear shot at the enemies now I guess I should have checked the gate a little bit earlier. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Destroy the cowards indeed. Granted, the Azerites are all, like the worst at defending or attacking settlements. We die. Uh, we don't use shields. We die like real men. I'm getting shot in the face. We beat the enemies with big sticks. Is that it? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, maybe I should like go up to the walls first, see if it's open. Oh, 
Hard to fight with sword without a, sh a shield, man lord. Hmm. Yeah, in, I guess in Warband it's easy because the, you know, the auto block is a thing. Here you have to manually block all the directions. I mean, you can, uh, you, there is a mod to actually turn that back on. Well, the biggest problem is getting your guys, well, your guys getting shot, as per usual, of course. Yeah, that's a mod. Uh, it's in the title. That's Sojin, aka Ronin. You can just Google it, find it on uh, next mods. It's pretty decent. The troop trees are good. Although I do wish we had like a outright katana infantry. Because, you know, all arms are nice, the Nagamakis and the Magnatas, but um, like they need to swing, man. What's up, Eminex? By Beyblade? <laughs> I don't think there is a troop tree that gives us gives us. Uh... No, I'm not Arabic. I'm Slavic. I do wish these guys actually used the katanas. Uh, I don't think this mod is on mod DB. It is on X mods though. If you need the link, uh, you can just hop on my guild server. The link is gonna be in the description for that. And then you can see like playthroughs, the active ones. You have, you have all the links for all the mods I'm using in this. If you need anything, and like load order of the mods as well. You don't need to mess with anything. You can just copy it. No, I think he meant me. I wish they had katanas, man. See here, we need more infantry. Hmm, actually these guys use katanas. Uh, actually I need them then. To use as infantry. You are, but you never went to Arabic school. <laughs> you can learn the language if it's your mother tongue or your father's language. So what if... Why does it switch it over? Okay, so we do want to make the standard infantry into... We want to make the normal recruits into archers and the elites into the cannibal warriors. Elements gauntlet for half your life. Oh, what can you do? If your family moved there. Hmm. Our problem is gonna be... Uh, problem is gonna be catching all these guys. We just switch weapons again. Yeah, they're going to besiege that. Hopefully the army is going to go after them. You old, man. I don't want to... Wanna... I guess we're going to fight both of them. Why the hell not? Okay, they're way over there. No problem. 
Kawasaki, you do what you need to do. Only 11 skirmishers. And I'm... And I miss. The Ottoman mod? Uh, which one is that? Is it on mod DB? The only mod from mod DB I used is the... Uh, Old Realms mod, Warhammer. Fantasy. So far. Most of the mods on there are not yet released as well. You're old. You're all old, man. Can't be young forever. So much for them. I want to try out all the mods at some point, but uh, once they actually get updated and get released, might be able to like grab a beta version of a mod if I join their Discord servers. But um, I just, I just don't have the time. Out an empire that lasted for 600 years. I know. I'm, a, I'm from the Balkans. We were occupied. We were vassals of the Ottoman Empire for what 500 years. I know what you mean, or what you're referring to. You're old. Yeah, I am old. Maybe, maybe, maybe don't stay here. I'm getting shit shot out of me. Come back now, come on. Is this our? No, that's not ours. Oh god, I'm gonna get lanced here. What's your old? You mean my age? I was born in 96. Their infantry is actually moving towards us. No, I don't speak French. Okay, no more fighting for me, I guess. No, 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 don't do it. Uh, well, at some point, man, we do need to do the... Uh, I can't remember the name of the mod, but it, like, has Crusaders. I think it actually has the Ottomans in it as well. Because it's like the Middle Ages during the Crusades. Well, it doesn't have Ottomans in them, but... Um, there's other Islamic factions, for sure. Lost against the against uh, Napoleon. Hmm. No. I mean, the Ottoman Empire was pushed out to the Balkans by the Balkan League or Balkan Alliance, which is Serbia and Montenegro, Bulgaria and uh, Greece. Early early twentieth century. Like just before World War One. Muhi there is in Scotland. 
or lived in Scotland. Let's grab all the horses. We got the demon X. You're, uh, you're are Arabic or Middle Eastern. Hmm. I think if I if I break into the into there to defend the castle, they're just gonna leave. So let's not do that. There's no point in it. Can't get, go into battle yet. I need to replenish a little bit. Yeah, Seljuk Empire. You know a little bit about history. If these guys ain't gonna save it, we're not. Is anyone actually pretty close? Maybe we can actually save that over there. If we get in there, get there in time. Of course not. Okay, there we go, there we go. We need to catch him. Ooh, they actually got some uh, reinforcements in as well. Come on, attack him. There we go. Did I get a level up? Yes, I did. Uh, increase your speed damage of bonus with pole rounds by 20% while mounted. Mm, yes. Of the size. Troop joins you when you're fighting in hideouts. Yeah, you can't live without that, man. Okay, this is somewhat um, balanced fight. Crusaders against Jihad, you mean? I know that one. Spread the arches out a little bit. Oh, this is perfect. We can hide our infantry like behind the hill here. Then attack them. Once they get get on close. Oh, Jesus Christ! Is going all over the place. Is the Mongols? Wait, Mongols are in that mod? It's been a while since I played it. Oh, this is such a mess. Even made your own kingdom? Well, that's what we all plan to do in these games. I won't do it for this playthrough, just because uh, it might take too long to actually do that. You is Arabic. No, 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 don't run in front of... Oh, shit. Why, wow, there's so many fucking groups here. You see a Mookie? Get... Is it? Can't I can't tell if their infantry is coming at us or not. Let's 
Let's move the archers a little bit up. Maybe we can force their infantry to charge us. All good until I hit the tree. Or a lance, for that matter. Oh shit. Even no one's looking at me. waste as much of their ammo as possible so our infantry doesn't get wrecked once they actually charge in. Which is gonna be now. Now to all their cab, none of them got a hit on me. Actually, have a lot more. Uh, yeah, they have a lot more infantry than I do. But my should be higher tier. Okay, how about your skirmishers? Like sit right behind them. Shit. <laughs> okay, let's see how our infantry fares. Okay, this is what I mean. Like, uh, they have long weapons and that's good and all, but uh, eh, not, not really when it's close quarters like this. They are winning out slowly but surely. Then again, this is on a... I'll call it like very easy, easy and normal. This is on where on easy. So it's not the hardest difficulty setting. Yet. Only enough, they mixed in their archers with the infantry. So they like shoot at them as well. While in melee. A little bit. Got 17 kills myself. Okay, let's speed this up. This is the only got cow left, more or less. Yep. We can make another companion. Okay, let's go. Uh, stewardship. No, no, no. Leadership. Tactics. And stewardship. Right. Stewardship, leadership, tactics. We, we need to make another party. We have more troops to actually command when we form an army like this.
Hmm, Caravan Guard. This actually aren't half bad. Let's grab him. Arm Archer. Nah. Okay, there we go. We don't need wool, we just need food. It would be interesting if they actually made it so you have to like have salt in your inventory so the food doesn't spoil or something like that. Get another level. Let's see. Ability to use strength without sacrificing precision if it's, if it's necessary for using ranged weapons. Mm. Thinking, uh, uh, no, 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 no. Let's put the point into. Put point into endurance. Let's see here, animals in your inventory have a very low chance to reproduce. Nope. You buy as enough of them as is. Okay, we've beaten them. Hanzo is going to a point. I think he's gonna have a massive army because he's the clan leader. Let's see if we can... Uh, I want to see how much garrison units they have over there. See if we can actually take it. Oh, we got it. <laughs> Didn't even notice. Okay, 500 defenders. No way we're taking that yet. Alright, let's set this up. Wait, wait, wait. Just skip this. Road garrison training. Everything follows. Needs recruiter. Bring this down to like 20. Uh, buy horses. I don't think he's going to be getting any of these. Okay, so these are tier 2. These are tier 3. They have like... ...60 of them. Even though I don't think he's going to be able to grab on this as the right territory. Brown Archer, Light Archer, these are tier 3. Also like 60 of them. And we'll see how, how the mix is going to go. Here, let's do the Empire. Imperial Archer, Trained Archer. Let's go for the infantry. Oh, this is gonna be um Okay, we don't want Nyari on the walls, so this is you know Kenjutsu. Yeah, these ones with the katanas. Let's go for a hundred of them. Let's go 80. Now Azurai. I 
next moon. Let me see here. Spear with an old shield and a mace. I think we want shields. Yeah, it is hack. Hatch. The one you sent in, I think. Champagne. No, it's uh, without an H at the beginning. Mm. Let's go with the Azurai footman here. Empire. Recruit Imperial Infantry. Imperial Trained Infantry. Now we'll see what can he actually like recruit or what we can get into it. These. Recruitment recruit from region. Allow this garrison to recruit troops from towns and or castles, villages, and well, I mean. Now, I can't remember how it's pronounced exactly, <laughs> which is even worse. In campaign, like that. This is group in Norris templates. Uh, I'll leave this on because uh, some of the recruits might be the ones we need. Next tier 3, Garrison. Yeah, if you put an H behind the C, it's a champion or champagne. Champagne. Yeah, let's leave this like that. Right, let me save this as well. Uh, uh, wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. Save current template. So, Jin. Just so we have it. And I fully expect, expect, expect this. We'll unleash the Holy Crusades. And yes, we are. Let me actually check again which one to, you sent in. Crusader Kingdom's one lion heart. Yeah, that's yeah, that's the one we we're gonna do, I think, because it's the one that's updated with the, like current version, one point seven. The other one is for an older version of the game, which I don't want to downgrade all that often because you know it gets messy after a while if you have to like switch game versions all the time. Don't know which faction we're gonna play.